Hey guys, Dimitri here from New Age Studio Design. In this video, we're going to look at the best settings for the 3D mouse in Blender. So let's take a look. So in Blender, if we go to Edit and Preferences, and we go to Input, and then enable the NDOF panel on the bottom, you're going to see a series of settings for the space mouse. In Blender 2.82, a few settings have changed under the hood. I'm not exactly sure what, but they've made using 3D mouse a little bit better. With the 3D mouse, it's very personalized and people tend to like things differently. For example, I have a colleague who has all his controls in the exact opposite manner than what I used to do. And I cannot use his setup at all. So it's quite personalized, but I will show you my setup and see if you like it. If it completely doesn't make sense, you can actually try reversing some of the controls. So let's take a look. The most important setting is the NDOF view rotation. By default, it's on trackball, which doesn't lock the vertical axis. When we do architecture, it's quite important to lock the vertical axis. So I changed that to turntable. So this is how it works at the moment. So it's very nice, it's very smooth. And now if I go back to my settings here and change this to trackball, it's not going to be really usable for now for architecture because it rotates in all different ways. So I don't use that setting. I set it up with view rotation set to turntable and that locks the axis. Now, if none of the settings are making sense, you need to reverse your axes within the 3D connection app. And we'll go to advanced settings. And with all of these, like if they make completely no sense to you, you can change them to reverse and that should hopefully give you the right way to move forward. Now just a couple of more settings in here within Blender. So I set my pen sensitivity and my orbit sensitivity to pretty high and I make sure my dead zone is exactly zero. Once all that's set up, we're good to go and move around in 3D space. Another important thing to note is if you're working on a really large project, for example, here we have a pretty large master plan that's about square kilometer. Now, so at the moment you see it rotates fairly well around this space, but let's make a small object somewhere over here. I'll make, I'll add a cube that's 10 by 10 by 10 meters. So you see now it doesn't quite work so well for that object. So usually what I do is click the button on top of tab. It's like an asterisk, I think, or the wavy dash. So that's that new menu in Blender 2.8 and I click view selected. So once we have view selected, now I'm orienting pretty well around this object. And now if I want to orient around my whole master plan in this case, I'll select a large object, do the same thing, click the asterisk button, view selected. Even if I deselect it, I can orient around this object fairly well. Just a couple more settings that you should be aware of. So in navigation, I always have orbit around selection, auto perspective and auto depth on. I find that it helps. However, even with those settings on, I still need to go and click on the object with the asterisk and go to view selected in order for 3D miles to work correctly. If you have any comments or suggestions for other videos, please let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe.